a very warm welcome to tech mining. This tutorial will teach you how by using CSS styling, you can change the default shape of the icon initials. This page contains star shape CSS class, defined as page inline CSS classes. Icon CSS classes calls this class to render star shaped icons. In Oracle Apex, you can use CSS classes to style and customize icons within your application. This approach allows you to define and apply custom icon styles in Oracle Apex by creating and using your CSS classes. Now let's get started. Create a new page. Select cards type. Set source type to table. And select the table named EBA Demo Card EMP. This table is similar to the EMP table, but it contains an additional column related to employees' profile images. Watch this video provided in the info card, to learn how to upload and display images in Oracle Apex. Select the grid cards layout. And choose the following cards attributes. And create the page. Under the root node, scroll down to CSS section and expand inline attribute. Use the inline CSS code provided in the video description. The provided CSS code snippet styles an anchor element with the class, a star shape, to create a star shaped element with a light blue background color. The shape outside, and clip path properties, define the star shape and the element is floated to the left, so the text and other content will wrap around it on the right side. The margin right property adds spacing to the right of the element. This star icon's region, is of card type. Report based on a SQL query that displays data for each row in cards. With cards you can easily visualize the data in blocks of content. You can customize header, media, body, or actions declaratively. Make sure that the source type is set to SQL query. And the same query exists in your source section. If not, the SQL query is provided in video description. The SQL query retrieves information about employees from the table in the database named, EBA Demo Card EMP, and it is aliased as M. This alias allows us to refer to the table using M, throughout the query. The query includes employees' basic details like name, job, hire date, department, etc. Additionally, it fetches the name of their manager and the name of their department by using subqueries. The results are presented in a tabular format at runtime, where each row represents an employee with all the specified details in the query. This step alternate method, is by selecting the source type to table, and by selecting the EBA demo card EMP table from the list. Make sure that the template is set to cards container helpful in the appearance and layout of the region to be displayed as cards. Under the Attributes tab, select the E-name column to be used as title. 
select the job column to be used as body. Select the initials column for the icon source for the icon that is displayed in the header of the card component. And select the ename column that returns the blob for the icon image source. Enter the CSS class for the icon. Icon CSS classes calls this class to render star-shaped icons. You may add multiple classes by separating them with spaces. Icon position start, aligns the icon to the starting position, typically to the left side of the header. This page item serves as an order by clause, enabling the sorting of the result set by ename and job columns in ascending order. This page item is of select list type, displays an item with a built-in list of values selector. When the end user clicks the item, the list of supported values displays directly in line with the current item. Select list is best suited for relatively small discrete lists. End users can very quickly select a value from the list without needing to change focus to a pop-up dialog. It also contains static list of values, the static list of values is based on the text value we enter. In current scenario, it displays and returns the ename and job columns. The default value type for this item is also set to static. The default value is used when the item's value is not derived from session state and when the source value is null. Save your work. Run the application. Visual representation is perfect. Let's check functionalities. In the order by item. Select the job column, to sort the result in ascending order on job column. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned to have more new videos like this. Thank you for watching.